again. It's a vicious cycle. Which the stuff the like in in Colchester, one of the big things that seems to take the piss. That I talk to a lot of people about is like um, the art centre. Yeah. We got that new art centre cost twenty eight million to yep. build. People look at that and they don't go, "Ooh, we've got a twenty eight million art centre." They go. Why did they spend 28 million on that when we've got roads that have fallen apart? Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like... Yeah, or they or they part, part, part of the problem with that one is sort of a lot of the time people go sort of, why did we build that? And, you know, probably it was not the right thing to do. Thing is, you've got it now <laughs> and... Uh, oh, it's, it's sort of, if you, if oh, you, yeah, if you don't use it, you lose out on both. It's already there, yeah, so we but, should at least turn it into something good so mm. that it at least isn't a waste yeah. of 28 million pounds. But at the same time, that's one thing where it's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, sort of, it was a big flashy thing of, look what we're doing, rather, rather than a, yeah, but you know, it sort of, it doesn't <laughs> have to be flashy. Sort of, uh, I think the bits people like about, people like about local government isn't when your council build, council, council isn't when your council builds something big and flashy. Uh, it's when your local council, it's when your, when your local, ca local council turns up and goes, all right, so there's a problem, so there's a problem with the drains. Like, I'll oh, get on, get onto the water board, see if we can get those cleared. Yeah, yeah, that's all fixed now. Oh, yay! The roads are fixed. Oh, that's good. You know, that's that's the stuff people want. Yeah. Not this giant building hidden behind loads of derelict buildings. Yeah, it's, it's we got, we got sort of the, 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 the well, it's you kind of see it with sort of all parties sort of the enthusiasm they sometimes have for elected mayors. They want a big name, big name person who is a you know, who who is a character and who will get things done. And but the electorate don't want that. They just want things to quietly get done without having to. I have a song and dance about. Did you also hear another person who wants to give it a go? To me, the uh, maze one is often tipped. Yeah, but I mean, someone that really, really is terrible. Um, Jeremy Carl said that he wants to get into politics. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, although, actually, so Jerry Springer did have a brief political career, apparently. But still, I would not like yeah, to no, be in no, a yeah, world yeah, where Jeremy Carl was making the decision. He's really good at he's really good at talking to people. He understands people on a very basic level, and he uses his powers for evil. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like the you, main you, thing you don't want somebody uh, who's. I mean, it's basically a sociopath, isn't it? Yeah. Thing is, he's also got an addiction to gambling that's lost him almost everything he has, and and then you're like. I don't know, he, he just preaches all this stuff and you're like, you're not a good role model. No, no. But then it worries me that if he did start politics, there's a lot of people that would vote for him because there's yeah. a lot of people that watch the Jeremy Carl show. And that's one thing that has my doubts about politics because it's just like, well, what if that douche gets in just because everyone well, likes yeah. I, I, the Well, yeah, I mean, this, this is the important thing about engagement, sort of, because politics is just this sort of, oh, I've seen that bloke on TV. It doesn't work as well as this. 